doubt yeah, about that. Absolutely. Yeah, I was just telling you. Oh, hi. How you doing? Uh, nice to see you. Yeah. Are you, are you having your little cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes. We fix up such good stuff down here. And how about you know, this? We, oh, excuse me. How, about how this, terrible. This pat of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dorothy Marie supplies us with so many uh, of our Look at this. Uh, He's dribbled here. all over. Oh, it's terrible. This is a fine candle. They really are. These are candles. Oh, mm. it's even chocolate smelling. What is your smell? Put it back down. It says keep your fingers off of it so oh. they can show it. <laughs> they get well, right haughty down swear. here, don't they? What does that thing there smell like? Well, I don't know. But for now, you're taking it out again. What's it smell like? Wax. <laughs> <laughs> but now, this has a chocolate scent to it. Well, it does, doesn't it? It does smell like chocolate. But they're really candles. Aren't they just attractive? And who had on the chocolate lipstick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just real nice. Oh, the, Miss Dorothy Marie is one of our good fans, yes. and she's always giving us stuff, which you see here, uh, uh, appears here on Cook and She was giving it to you the other way. <laughs> 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 Told you all about it, didn't you? Well, anyway. <laughs> Dear boys, I do enjoy your show and would love to have the Spanish dish. Huh? It always looks so oh, good. Oh, she left last week. What you are cooking. No hub. wonder you, you both look so... <laughs> Listen to this. It, it always looks so good what you were cooking. No wonder you both look so happy and well fed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from the lovely Ruby Harms of St. Petersburg, Florida. Jeez. Ruby, don't take your love to town. Stay home and cook. She's trying to tell us we're <laughs> fat. Dear Labor to Larry, comma, I'm a high school junior, and when I'm not working, I watch your show. It isn't quite like that. At 4.30 on Channel 57, WCVW, WCVW, uh -huh. down there in uh, whereverville. <laughs> You've been lost there a number of times after they threw you out of Margaritaville. <laughs> That's right. Well, I was thrown out of Margaritaville because I didn't bring salt along. And though those stuck-up chefs do wonderfully and rarely have to tear through the kitchen hunting for serving platters and such, none of them are as fun and personal as you two. Well, I'm glad you've caught on to this program. Did you ever publish your book? Oh, dear. How humiliating. <laughs> she would ask about that. Uh -huh. I notice your shows say uh, 1980. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's got an old television. Uh -huh. She's picking up an old signal. Uh -huh. Been around the world. Oh, some of those signals are still out there, darling, from seven, eight years ago. There's a couple of them out there when I was a child, six, <laughs> 16 millimeter. Are you no longer doing the show? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing it. How many? <laughs> Jim likes it after the first time since he had his finger broke. <laughs> How may I order your book? And do you still need recipes? Boy, do we need recipes! Yes. <laughs> if so, let me know, and I'll send you a great rap. What is that? Ravioli recipe, I believe it is. Hope you are well. I think it was Roulotten. Oh, 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 okay. But that's right, they look alike. He they passed, both start with our. He, he passed away, didn't he? Though uh, Phil is a sexy guy. Best always, Lori Taylor. P.S. <laughs> Laban, take care of your heart. Though Phil. It says, though Phil is a sexy guy. <laughs> I think she meant you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she's got my name oh, right okay. here at the beginning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and here's, here's one from, from Robert, Robertson Tease. <laughs> Robert who? I think it means Texas, but it's T-E-A-S. -E oh, it is. It says mm -hmm. Robertson Tees. I'm from Robertson Tees. It's near the Gulf Coast where all the tropical storms develop. Oh, well, that's definitely Tees. <laughs> I watch your crazy show every week. The show is so funny it makes me forget the rough time we're take, that, are, that uh, are taking place in Texas. I would be tickled pink if you could send me this recipe. It was about the time the meal was not burnt. <laughs> And that's from a, a, I remember that. Eliza Hearn. I remember that. <laughs> Thank you. We'll uh, make sure you get oh, what you Oh, here deserve. we go again. I hadn't seen this one for a while. I mean, I've never seen this, but uh -huh. I hadn't seen this particular subject come up for a while. Mrs. Howard, is that Satterwhite? I believe it uh -huh. is Lynchburg, Virginia, up there in Lynchburg. How you doing, darling? Nice to see you. Can you do that in Lynchburg? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Those marauders will come out from Liberty University and break every bone in your body for winking like that, not to mention that. That's tongue. okay. You can put saran wrap, darling, over top of your television screen <laughs> for your protection. Dear sir, first of all, let me tell you how much I enjoy your program and the two characters that present it. The two characters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please tell me where I can buy a poster that was in your background. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, the adorable oh. pig. Oh, the adorable oh, pig. Knock it off the wall. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the adorable pig. I'm sorry. Enclosed a self addressed envelope for your convenience. Thank you. And, uh, Mrs. Satterway, thank you very much. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about that pig. <laughs> we have a lot of people uh, call and, and not call. Right. Right. We've never had anybody call. <laughs> well, We've had a lot of people but, write. But they've telexed us several times. And several uh, <laughs> telegrams and a couple of uh, pure later messages uh, about the pig. Now, it comes from... <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the place? I forget. I, I knew you'd never remember it. The Williamsburg Pottery, Williamsburg in, Pottery in Lightfoot, Virginia. Lightfoot, Virginia. It's a place just outside of historic Williamsburg, uh -huh. Virginia. And that's where we got it. I don't know whether they have many more or not. When was it copyrighted? Well, Athena International, 1983 London, is when 1983, it was copyrighted. and it was printed in England. However, we are thinking of putting an apple in Laban's mouth and taking a picture of him and selling those things. Because <laughs> we can make a fortune on it. Well, Is that know, it? Yeah, you know, last week somebody wrote in for and wanted heavy southern recipes that would stick to your ribs. Right. So we're glad to oblige you. And remember, you asked for it, not us. Okay, here we go. Heavy southern. Mm. I got arthritis of the knee. Oh, we're tired of hearing about oh, it. Oh, I can hardly go. I don't have arthritis. In fact, to be quite honest with you, I'm in pretty good spirits. Yeah. Oh, I got to do this again. They make me do this again. Oh, come on. Do well, we have to look at that mess again? You know, our director, Dave, who yeah. has never missed a good shot in his Crazy life. Crazy Dave. <laughs> missed one last week. And he said, if you do it again, oh, I all right. You mean he didn't get it on TV? Didn't anything? get it. He missed all right. it all together. All right, Dave. Uh, now, go to Carol up there because Larry is about to set off this balloon. Now, here comes your cue, Dave. There it goes. Here it goes. Right, Carol. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> that's, that's really wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dave. You. That's it, Dave. You can come back. To, oh, thank you. Yeah, there you are. I'm waiting for water to boil. Well, why don't you do that? <laughs> Which they say you should stand and watch it because it would never will. Well, but as soon as it does, we'll get to work. I'm doing a 21-day salad. You know, like this apron belonged to my grandmother, and I thought I would wear it because it's got these roomy pockets in it, and it just fits me so good. Yeah, it really does, Lee. Uh, it just about covers the latter two-thirds of your stomach. Anyway, bless Grandma. The she, biggest part. If she knew what was going on, Grandma, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, Wait, she's this probably is probably twirling around even as we speak. This salad that we're making is yeah. uh, Is this going to take 21 days? No, no, it doesn't take 21 days. You see, but we're only on the air in your frigidaire. about 27 and a half minutes now. How are you going to do that? Or whatever kind of appliance you have. But here in the South, everybody has frigidaires. And well, speak for yourself. you want to pull off these tough outer leaves and throw them over in Bly's water where they can <laughs> blend. You keep them out of there. What? What are you doing putting that in there? Now, I'm, oh look, they got real pretty and oh, green. Oh yeah, that's how you get it to be pretty and green. You can use TV. this as a, uh, some kind All of. All those a, high price shows, that's what they do. They what? dip everything dip down everything in hot water. water so it looks pretty. It gets so pretty and green. Now, if that's not pretty and green on your television, you need to call your repairman. Well, either that or we need to call some engineers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is going to be like a coleslaw that'll keep for a long time in the refrigerator, and. Sometimes people write in and say, why do you waste so much time chopping stuff on the air? And the reason is uh, because we chop like real people do. We don't speed it up by camera tricks, and we also don't have electric food processors. So I want to show you a quick way to do this kind of cabbage today. Oh. And even though it's quick, Well, it's can I still... do one thing before you start that? Well, I guess you're going to do it whether you can well, or not. Well, no, 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 no. I've, I've got to because Go water ahead is finally boiling. Take about a, it says, take a 16-ounce thing of six... elbow a macaroni of, of, you know, this Muller stuff, or as they like to say here in the South, Mueller's. That's mm -hmm. not the way you say it's Muller's. But I'm not going to use all that. My heavens, that's enough. That stuff swells up like Johnson. There's enough of you use a whole box of that stuff. Well, you need another room for it. So I'm just going to use about half of it. Now, we're just going to boil that and let it get real soft, the macaroni. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. I got a little salt in there, too. By, ouch, by the way. That's all. Go ahead. All right. Now, what I've done, I've sliced these slices with a big, sharp knife. Hmm. Big sharp knife. Don't say that to and Jim. I know. <laughs> it makes One him of nervous. Our camera persons just cut himself severely. Severely. But anyway, um, now quarter inch slices. Now you're going to turn it this way and cut this way into quarter inch slices again. 
and this is plenty good for the recipe we're doing today. And like uh, this apron, this knife belonged to my grandmother. Oh, for heaven's sake. And that just goes to show that if you buy good stuff to start out with, you can pass it down through the family. Well, who, well, never mind. Well, who, who am I going to pass it to? Yeah, is that I, what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's what I wanted to, to say. To my children, that's who. Oh, that's right. You do have those little ugly ones. Yes. I swear he just talks so terrible. <laughs> At least mine have two legs. And I everything. saw one of them on the back of a milk carton the other day. His have four legs and oink. <laughs> oh, now, now wait a minute. Now we're getting out of hand. <laughs> this is just not necessary. We're really good friends off of the thing. <laughs> and anyway, you want to make sure when you're cutting this that you don't cut yourself and you don't cut up through the core because that's the nasty parts. Really? Yeah, well, now, there are a lot of people that eat that corn. I know. Back in the back, back uh, at home, when I was growing up with pigs, I, <laughs> we I, used to eat those things. Uh, like, not to mention no, the good. corn cob. You, you take yeah. that thing no, and I, you cut that out, and you whoa! <laughs> Excuse me, I my pot, pot just blew up in my face. Boiled uh, over there. No, you can cut stuff. that out, and, yes. and you can put salt on that and eat it, and that's real good. You just don't know. Uh huh. That's just like last week, you opening that. <laughs> I hate to throw this up in your face, Well, guys, go ahead. Because you Why are not? such a good friend of mine. Winky, winky. Uh, last week, you trying to string those beans from the wrong end. I've had so many people talk to me about that this week. And I've been... I've, me too. I've been trying to take well, up for Well, that's right. You. Take I up for I said, you. okay, you string your end, <laughs> bean from that end. I'll string them from mine. We'll see who gets paid the most for it. Uh, and that usually shuts them up. Now what are you doing now? <laughs> what I'm just still chopping on through this oh. cabbage, making this. You have to chop up a whole medium-sized cabbage. Now this is actually a small cabbage by many standards, but you know who. Now there's the core that Bly likes to eat with salt. It is which is good one of the major salt. reasons he has severe heart trouble. No, today. let me show you. Give it here. Give it here. <laughs> Get a little bit of salt on that thing. Did you wash it real good? <laughs> Where's it been? <laughs> well, you know how those workmen are out in the fields. Mm -hmm. It is good. Now it really is. If you've never tried that, you ought to try it. It's good. Sometimes and that's all we had to play with at home. Uh-huh. It was old cabbage corn. Old cabbage corn. Because you had to use the other parts like, you know, the corn cobs and things for other purposes. <laughs> now that's a joke nobody will get outside of the South. No, I'm afraid quite a few will get it. <laughs> I'm waiting for my macaroni to boil, and while I'm doing that, I'm heating up some. He's not doing much. Let me come over this way. <laughs> I'm going to put some margarine yeah. in there. I'm going to heat that margarine up and boil my macaroni. And what I'm getting ready to do now is just chop up some onions. You don't have to watch. Now, what you do is you take a fresh onion. <laughs> <laughs> Our onions have just gone all pieces down here. Uh -huh. Take an onion, we'll, we'll chop it all up. a lot of up. people that have worked in that one, never mind. And we're going to, we're going to, saute the onion just a little bit while we're waiting for a macaroni to get done and that's it. I mean you've seen me chop countless millions of onions so it's not necessary that you watch now. Back to Johnson. Well thank you so much. I'm still going through this cabbage and you need to start out with a great big bowl but after you uh, sauce this, this will immediately sauce fall down. Sauce it? Sa no, not sauce it. Just sauce it. Sauce, you have to use Sauce it, baby. Now I'm almost through with this. Is cabal. there a word, sauce? Well, I'm sure there is. It's a word for anything. If we didn't, you just make it up. Oh, okay. I mean, that's how language sauce started. Sauce. People just made it up. Well, I think we're a little past that now, but. Well, I don't know why. We make up words all the time. Like, I got to get this thing going. Like retro rocket. Who ever heard of that back in the time of Shakespeare? Mm -mm -mm. I swear <laughs> with the. <laughs> he does that to me all the time. Now I'm I'm just going to saute these onions a little bit while we're waiting around for John to stop cutting things up. Well, I know, I just know that sometime in a couple of minutes he's going to really do something here. No, this <laughs> is all I have around. to do for the whole show is just 
Are you chop. kidding? No, I'm just chopping. Oh, this but, is a, a, an uncooked dish. But surely, surely, you will be doing something else don't, later on. Wait a minute. You can do a lot of things, <laughs> don't, don't call, you call me Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing a little pepper oh, in there. Oh, where is the food grinder? What do you need the food grinder the, for? The uh, rasper. Oh, here. Uh, you mean the chop o -matic? We have the chop o -matic. Oh, I forgot about that. That I someone knew the gave other us grater. years ago. It's still in the box it came in. Yes, it is a very good product. Thank you. The Chop O Matic is back. And where is Irene <sighs> Sullivan now that we need her? All this macaroni is just going to town. These onions, they're going to town. Everything's going to town. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, I'll do the onion with the Chop O Matic because this green pepper needs to be grated. This is a simple recipe. Now, while all of that's going on, I'm going to take this uh, smoked sausage. All right, Johnson. Your money or your... <laughs> well... I'm sorry. I could resist. Smoked sausage, about that much of it. You, that's a ring of sausage, right? And on a hard, snowy day, I used half of it in this recipe at home because I was hungry and couldn't get out. You only need this much of it anyway. And just... Slice that real thin, all right? Because it's got a little bit of a skin on it, and you can't take that skin off. So just slice it real thin. And now the chopomatic. Well, I did pretty good, all things being equal. All except that yelling. Well, I mean, that goes with it. You have to yell and have a good time with food. Sound like a tribe got loose. You wouldn't hear Jeff Smith yelling like, hey ya ho, hey All right. I'm still waiting for this macaroni just to get a little bit chewy. Just a little chewy. <laughs> now let me see if I can find our good food grater over here. I know it's down in here somewhere. And I'm continuing <laughs> to... <laughs> I swear. Here it is. <laughs> You know, this has got to go down in history as one of the noisiest shows well, we've ever you know, done. Never accused us. I believe that living next to the airport would be quieter than being around this program. Oh, today. I don't know. You, you could, I, well, I better leave that one alone. Now, I'm continuing <laughs> to do There's no fast way to do this. Now, I know there's fancy chefs I all over. I don't know. I guess I could use that thing on these peppers. Jim's got one of his fingers bandaged up, but it doesn't show up very good when he holds it up. I thought it was six and a half minutes. <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> well, it sort of works. Well, I'm glad to see you getting some use out of that thing. Did so Somebody gave that to us, didn't they? Somebody uh -huh. called that in. Anyway, you need two green peppers chopped, well, actually, they I don't reckon you can do or... that while the baby's asleep, can you? Well, sure you could. Depends how much you like the baby. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. It's right noisy. Anything that that's good is. Well, I've never heard that before. Well. Now, my onions are totally sauteed, and I'm just finishing up here. A couple of minutes, if I can make myself heard, I'll tell you how to do the rest of this stuff. Because the macaroni's just about ready. I'm not going to get any closer in on that thing. I don't want to hurt myself. There have been too much of that around here already. Let me see if one of these macaronis is, is done. Mmm, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Now, this is the last thing I have to do like this, so I apologize for making so much noise, but anyway. All right, now here's what we're going to do at this point. Now that our macaroni is ready, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and drain it. I'm going to do it the easy way because I don't want to go back to the sink because you have to look at the back of my head. I'm going to throw that in there. I think I'll take that off just for a second. I'm going to take it off just for a second. I'm going to take a macaroni. Well, you know what they say about that. Don't let your macaroni drain. 
That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my life. But somehow I, I know what you mean when you say that. Now, for those that care, you know, I'm grading up a they're, large carrot into they're actually, this bowl. They're actually adding time <laughs> today. What, what did they think about? We that? started out with about 40 minutes. Uh huh. And now we're up to another hour. <laughs> this will be a mini series before it's over. Okay, now there it is. Now all that's in there, all that macaroni and goodness. Now what we're going to do is going to open up a can of uh, tomato sauce, tomato sauce. This is cost cutter. That's how I save some money. Some of that Kroger cost cutter. Mm -hmm. Real good stuff. Fine quality, fine quality. And I'm just going to open that up right out of the can. Easy does it. This can opener is doing strange things. All right. Now put this back on the heat and put that tomato sauce in there. All right. And then what we will do is we will add the smoked, uh, what you call it? <laughs> Sausage, thank you. I took leave of my mind there for a minute. And now what you'll do is bring this back to a boil again. And it's got the onions in there. Mix those onions all through it and everything. Now, what you can do is you can put this in the refrigerator and either eat it cold the next day or you can heat it back up. And the older it gets, up to a point, of course, mm -hmm. the better it tastes because the more all these smoked flavors go through and mm. the onions and all that sort of thing. Boy, doesn't that look good. Well, it is never going to get any hotter than that now that it's cut off. I cut it mm. off accidentally. So anyway, I'm going to heat that back up, and that'll be ready in just a couple of minutes. Doesn't have to go very long, and well, now, it will be good. Now, to the, after you've sliced up all of these vegetables, you add two cups of sugar. Yes, that's a lot, I know. Ew, it does seem like a lot. But this is why it keeps for 21 days. And you sprinkle that all in the bowl over the top of it like this and you shake it around so it'll go down and then you do the hokey pokey and, and then you, you add a cup of white vinegar oh wait a minute let me add the spices first you need a tablespoon of mustard seed and a tablespoon of celery seed this is starting to boil now starting to get All hot right, there's a Heat tablespoon up. of celery seed goes in there and a tablespoon of mustard seed. Bly, if you had faith the size of the... Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, we... Well, you know. And now you add this cup of vinegar. Ooh, that does look interesting. White vinegar over the top of the entire thing. That's it, and you let that marinate overnight in your refrigerator. <laughs> All right, now you want to see those yeah, recipes? Of course you want to see those recipes. Here are those recipes. Macaroni and sausage, just got finished with. So simple, three little items. Macaroni, smoked sausage, <laughs> tomato sauce. Mix it all up on top of the stove. You can put it in the refrigerator, and, and uh, next day it tastes even better with the onions. You can add onions or, or, or even green peppers if you want to. And to for the 21-day salad, you need to chop fine or shred a large head of cabbage, two medium green peppers, a large carrot, and one medium onion. You put it all together, two cups of sugar, one cup of white vinegar, one tablespoon of salt, I forgot to put that in, a tablespoon of mustard seed, and a tablespoon of celery seeds, and let it go. Now, Miss Witch should be flying oh, yeah. in. She'll be here. Momentarily, everything's ready. Marty, right would time. you call her? She's Thank gone you. to fetch her from the, oh my goodness. The, she had Rough a hard landing. landing. Hard landing indeed. All right, says, dear guys, all of us guys at Alpha Beta, Wahoo, want to have a party next week. We got enough bucks to have a few kegs of soft drinks. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Uh, lemonade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Problem is we have only a few, uh, what is that? Bucks. Say? Bucks for food. What can we do? Thanks. The Wahoo Gang. Well, uh, sounds like one of those college frats. It does, it does indeed. And uh, so we will uh, be glad to do some real cheap party food for you next week. And come on, Bly, let's serve this thing before it goes bad. All right, party food, huh? So that's uh -huh. what we're going to be doing. Do oh, it. would you hand me my spoon? I almost fell directly into the macaroni. <laughs> the spoon, right. yes. yes. Thank yes, you so spoon. much. All right, here, I'll give you some of this. Ah, watch out, don't want to burn you there with the macaroni. Oh, oh it is quite lovely. Lovely, lovely. And let me give you lovely, some of this lovely. All right. 21 day salad. Well, let it drain just a little bit. Drain. Thank you. Oh, well, it's real pretty. 
and it smells good too. Mm -hmm. And it even looks good. It, it does. It has a loveliness to it. Certain lovely. It looks like it has probably uh, marinated for 21 days. Oh, about a week. It is good and it's not too sweet either. It's That's crunchy. interesting. It's crunchy, good, not too sweet. Mmm. It really is. I like that. And what do you think of that? Oh, that's real tasty and so easy to do. It really is. Get yourself some good quality smoked uh, sausage. Mmm. Delicious. And, and Thanks. The, and the longer it goes, the better off. Too. We'll see you next week. Mm. Bye.